how is your market doing given what we've seen in terms of this wobble around uh, treasury yields yeah thank you thank you for inviting me on this morning i think our market is a, is a very interesting market in the current environment because what we saw uh, along with similar markets uh, and when we initially had the, the pandemic uh, shock was it was a drawdown and a, and a sell off in the market but generally you know our market there's always value in our market there's always yield we're in, in an environment now where our market is showing very holding up very very well uh very very good yields positive yields if you look at the investment grade part of the market compare it to say the investment grade bond market You'll see in the in the in the mezzanine part, the sort of single A triple B space, we have like spreads and yields that are approximately four times the bond market. And if you look at the senior part of the stack, what you actually see there, where you've obviously got approximately two thirds of the investment grade bond market, non-financial trading in negative yields, we see spreads at the triple A level of, of 80 basis points and at the double A level of 150 basis points. So still a very very strong positive spread market compared to other credit markets that, that we see. It, it, it might be a little bit of a, a diversion to the main topic here, but I'm interested. Did were there any ripples in the risk analysis of these credits after we saw uh, Greensill uh, file for bankruptcy? I, I know not directly comparable, but there is an element of trade financing. Uh, credit-backed securitization of product. Uh, what was the impact of that? And should investors be nervous that there are other green sills out there in the alternative credit space? Well, it's, a, it's an isolated instance in some ways, and probably that still has to play out because, you know, there could be, could be some knock-on effects. But I think, you know, the way that we look at it, we like securitized products. And when we're investing in securitized products, the key thing for us is to look through to what are you underlying secured on? And that's very important for us. So although we are a trading mentality, we have a very mark to market mentality in terms of what we do. Our focus right now is mainly in the European corporate space. And the reason for that is when we look through to the underlying corporates, what we see there is a very solid portfolio, senior secured loans, corporates that basically have a reason to exist. And so therefore that securitized product is very transparent to us. We do our analysis and we're very comfortable with the risk we're taking. To move into other areas, and there's a particular company that you're picking on, you just need to be very certain of what are you secured on and what is the legal environment that you're actually secured in. So that's not something we would actually look at, that, that particular company. We would look at securitizations of underlying trade receipts, most definitely. That's a, that's a slightly different profile to what we're taking, but there can be some value there too. So I just think with these markets, they are complex. I think it's important that you have a specialist manager doing that work for you. It's not something really for the individual to access directly.